Hello and welcome to the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. This five liner has been brought to you by our friends and partners at MXS Solutions, Fix Ops Digital, M1 Data and Analytics, 321 Ignition, Shop Smart Autos, and VinQ. If you want more brews or you want to find out how to partner with the Car Guy Coffee Podcast, go to carguycoffee.com. Let's brew! What's going on, car guys and car gals? It's Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And it's Fred Lenart, subprime hero. And we are excited to be brewing solutions with the GOAT today. We have an incredible solutionary that is bringing some of that brew to us that you need to get some of. Let's have some fun. Let's show some love. Man, I'm pumped up, man. How are you today, oh, Lou? Man, I am all caffeinated, mm. pumped up, about halfway into the first cup of the day. <laughs> and the energy that this solutionary brings inside of the cafe is electric. And it's not just doing woogie, things woogie, inside woogie. of the dealership. It's also making things happen inside of the community, locally and socially. Folks, we forget how often it is that we connect to people all across the nation and all across the world just by sharing our story. And this incredible car guy has done some incredible mm -hmm. things and Tell he it. has been inspiring people pouring out what he has all over the place using his platform for outreach and we absolutely love that we have him in the cafe today i'm gonna tell oh. you this guy seriously is the definition of all gas no brakes man oh. he has his crew rocking the shirt saying that getting that mentality about just going man we can sit here and talk about all the bad things in our lives all the stuff that's falling apart but what do you do not that's that's called just making excuses what do you get after it you push that gas pedal down and you keep going and you keep trying to grow right. learn from your mistakes and do better the next time right and this is what this guy does he is the true definition of that Man, he's been through some stuff. I can't wait to talk about him and have him mm. answer these questions, Lou. It's going to be exciting, Pumped bro. Up. Excited about it. There's yeah. also some incredible news that we're going to wedge in here to make sure that you hear about the awesome events that are happening virtually and live. And we want to talk to you about everything that's cooking uh, with these car guys and some of you that we can't wait to connect with. <sighs> but you know what has to get ready to go down up inside of the cafe. We got to go ahead and get some music flowing. We got to get some hands clapping. We got to get some hands moving. And we got to make uh. welcome an incredible solutionary that we are beyond honored to have inside of the cafe today and share his story and share his brew with you. We have the, the one, one, the only, Bruce Miller. Welcome what's up, bro? What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? What's man, happening? honored and blessed, man. Excited to have you on the show. Talk about your journey. Ask you these questions, man. But man, tell everybody a little bit about who you are and where you're from. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, since birth. You know, New Orleans through and through. You know, so it's easier hey. to than, than to actually say. You know, <laughs> no doubt, bro. I don't think I can say, say it. it. So tell me, how do you say New Orleans? New Orleans, right way to say New Orleans, just like that. New Orleans. New Orleans. All right. I'm with you on that, right? You know, because so many people say it so many different ways. I know I jacked it up a bunch. I mean, wait, just, just here in Louisville, Kentucky, Yorker. I say Louisville. He says, says Louisville. I don't know. Louisville. I mean, that's Louisville, <laughs> man. But anyway, <laughs> right? So yeah, yeah. But we're excited to have you on the show, man. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm excited man, to be here. Yep. Cheers, bro cheers, brother, you've, you've well, been man. in this business and you've done it and you've been all over the place and you've done some amazing things. You've, you've sold upwards of 400 vehicles in a month. You've crushed it. I, dude, the numbers don't lie. And that's what I love about it. You're mm -hmm. always going for different things, looking for ways to be uncomfortable and grow, man. You, you've now you're invested in two different dealerships. You're, you're, you're growing in both those stores. You're having fun, man. You're bringing a good culture. That's just amazing. You're leading by example. Dude, I mean, you're the definition of a solutionary, brother, and we're excited to have you on the show. So thank you for your time today. Folks, get ready to hear some amazing things. What do you think, Lou? No, I think that this is a historical event for us here in the cafe, and uh, it's so, so awesome. Anytime that we get the chance to share somebody, uh, some, somebody's story that goes deeper than just the surface. Mm. It's, it's not just a, a, a simple, regular coffee right there's a few extra shots that are in there there's a, a little bit of extra burn a little extra flavor a little extra concentrate in the quality that is uh, brewed with you and i uh, use that all metaphorically speaking but literal you know the value of you is tremendous and it's spilling all over the place and we want to talk more about it <clears throat> 
And we want to get pumped up uh, to just encourage you that, hey, you know, here's a little bit of caffeination. Right. We encourage that these incredible car guys like you are more needed. And your story being shared is ultimately what's going to inspire more people to go ahead and activate the superpower that is unique to them. Uh, but in that, we do try to fly together. And that's by applying three Fs. And that's forgive, focus, oh. and flying. It's etched on the chest. And uh, we want to make sure that we do keep growing uh, so that we can get this show started right and get this five lighter underway because people want to know about you. Bruce, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. All right. So on three, forgive, focus, fly. Hands on the shoulders with me now. One, two, three. Forgive. forgive. Focus. focus. Fly. fly. And keep growing. That's keep right, man. Growing. Thank you so there much, brother. Go. Now you are in the club. Run. You are official. You just learned a secret handshake. Yes. Solutionaries mount up, brother. We're excited. Oh. We have five questions we love to ask every one of our guests. And these five questions really get us excited because I think it really dives into how to be successful. And even though things happen how to still be successful, right? We're, we're in the middle of some people would call an ec economic crisis, right? And, and But some of us don't feel that. Some of us actually look forward to it, which shows that we are great. We know how to do it. We've navigated through this. You've been in this business long enough. You've seen these roller coasters, right? But you've always been able to find ways to be the cream that rises to the top. So the first question I love to ask people, it's an important question, is your why, your purpose. What drives you? What makes you get up every day and say, gas pedal, baby, let go of that brake? <clears throat> okay, I'm not trying to get, you know, scare nobody, but my why is different and it's changed over the years. When I was 21 years old, I had to provide for a young family. You know, I, I started in the business September 5th, 2000. I was married July 7th, 2000, and I had my first son October 3rd, 2000. So my whole life started, you know, 22 years ago in the car business. So my why was to provide for that family, you know? Yep. Uh, and then later through life, I had more kids and different things and I wanted to put them in good schools. So the why was like, let me let me be successful so I can give them the best. <clears throat> I didn't have the greatest childhood. It was downright terrible. You know, I barely made it out alive. And um, so when I had kids, I wanted to be a, a different. Um, I wanted to do things different. You know, at 35 years old, I received a terminal uh, cancer diagnosis. Um, very rare form of cancer. There's no cure. I can't, I won't be ringing a bell in a hospital that I beat cancer. I will always have this until the day I die. So I take medication to keep it at bay. Uh, over the years, we've switched a few different medications. I'm currently on a trial. Uh, that's what, that's where this uh, white hair comes from, but I feel great and I'm healthy. So my why since 35, when I received that cancer diagnosis, I had a one-year-old little baby girl. And so, um, man, I want to walk her down the aisle. You know, mm -hmm. so I want to live my life in a manner. I want to try to be as healthy as I can be, do whatever the doctors tell me, be as positive as I could be, be prayerful about the situation. So you can be prayerful or you can have faith, but you also got to believe, you know, you got to like, you know, you got to act on that faith. Hey, dealers, Car Guy Coffee podcast and certified solutionaries are honored to be part of Team BenQ. The solutions they've been brewing for you to acquire more vehicles, advertise merchandise, and manage those vehicles has made them one of the most sought-after dealer partners in the market. They are 100% CGC approved. And when you visit them at VinQ.com, you'll see a whole hill of beans worth of reasons why. Team VinQ, let's brew! So my why every day is to, to, to do as best as I can to have a lifestyle that, that, that man, I can make it to walking her down the aisle one day you know yeah, uh, and then you know i want to live life to the fullest while i'm here i want i want my roses today i don't want my roses at the funeral because i won't be able to smell them so i i i make sure i have good conversations with people i make sure i go to lunch with people i make sure that my time is meaningful you know uh because uh i don't know I, we all don't know when we're gonna we, we're gonna go, but my I have an actual expiration date. You know, I know it's coming. You know, and uh, so my why is you know it's it's really really deep. You know, what I'm saying I wanna I wanna have a lifestyle to where I can really enjoy my family, my kids, you know, my my friends, and then but also I wanna make it to her wedding day. You know, I wanna walk her down that down the aisle. You know, you know, so I have two sons. They're 22 and 18. They're young men, so it's not gonna affect them as much. You know, yeah. but uh. That's my why. So that, that, that's what gets me out of bed. That's what gets me going. That's what keeps me positive. That, that what's 
keeps me as an overcomer, you know, because like, man, I, I don't see myself as dying. I, look, that's what the doctors say, but I don't, I don't take that report, you know? So that's my why. Right. Man, the way that we get to see it where we are, Bruce, is that we are each inside of the same day. We're each sharing the same day together. And that is something to give great praise for. That's something to give great thanks for. Live with abundant gratitude uh, so that we can say thank you for today. And let me be trusted for tomorrow. Let me make it to tomorrow. But I have today. Thank you. Right. Yes, and, and that's something that uh, that you're taking advantage of. And man, how inspirational is that car, guys, that there is so much that's poured into one day that he gets to every day say, this is getting me closer to the aisle. This is my why. This yep. is what I'm shooting for. And in that, so many people get to prosper from it. So wow. many people get to to grow from that. So many people get to be blessed. And uh, hopefully you're being blessed. If you are, give me a coffee cup emoji. I see you all out there right now. You know, I, we appreciate you. See so many great sometime. comment. Bruce is phenomenal. Obviously, that's why we have him on the show. What, what do you feel about that? I mean, the, the abundance that there is inside of value to have somebody like you to just to, to learn from and lean into and watch is beneficial for everybody. Yeah, the thing is, yeah. is your hand on the plow all the time. You know what I mean? In order for somebody to watch you do what it is that you do, they got to watch you do it while you're doing it. And yeah. you have some of the great mentors uh, inside of uh, the, the automotive industry right now pouring into you. How important is it for you as you're constantly pouring out? I mean, you're trying to squeeze the sponge dry every day, right? Every day. Life I can squeeze into this day, I'm pouring it out. And But you have others that are pouring into you also. How important is it for you to have the Glenn Lundys in your life and all of these other people pouring into you? How valuable is that right now, especially as you're trying to jump to next levels? Yeah, you can't put a price tag on, you know, um, to be to have people that have blazed trails that you're trying to go down. Right. And to have them like lead you and to see their example. Look, I was a GSM. <clears throat> I know we don't talk about money a lot in the car business, but I'll talk about money. I was making thirty, forty thousand dollars a month at 33, 34 years old, GSM working nine to five. But I wanted more, man. I wanted I wanted more. We're selling three to four hundred cars a month. I had like. This amazing staff, this amazing culture. Uh, we was the bullies on the block. You know, you couldn't yeah. mess with, with my store. You know, I met Glenn Lundy. It's a long story, but I met Glenn Lundy. Uh, Mr. Benson uh, bought a, a horse farm in Kentucky. He had like a meeting with all the business owners in Kentucky. And, and Josh and Glenn was at that meeting. Mr. Benson invited uh, Glenn to a Saints game. I was like the, the, their chaperone. You know, I, like it. I picked him up in the hotel, hung out with him, and then I met him, you know, and I realized I thought I was the, the so this, I'm getting to a point. I didn't always have mentors in my life because I thought I was young and, you know, the best. And, but I got to the point where I couldn't grow no more. You know, I was, I was doing this, but I wanted to do more. Right. I kind of like met Glenn and I said, I'm selling three, 400. They selling 800. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> maybe there is somebody better than me out there, you know. So uh, I joke and say I knew Glenn before he came out the closet, you know, because uh, he, <laughs> he was in the closet doing his show. I remember been, that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And we've been friends ever since then. You know, when it comes to the VARIP operations, we could finish each other's sentences. You know, uh, I have great respect for what he's built in a short period of time. Um, and uh, he definitely was an inspiration. You know, that job that I was at for so long that I had like that was my family. I, I quit that job 90 days later, you know, because I saw it, more opportunity. So now at this point in my life, the things that I'm trying to accomplish, I, I had to get better mentors. I had to get m more people involved. So, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be able to speak to Danelle Delgado every now and then, a few messages back and forth. I share with her, hey, this is what I want to do. And she gives me some courage, you know, mm -hmm. Alex Flores, you know, shot him up. I came back from the last conference and Danelle said, um, there's 60 people in here and only two of you guys are going to be different by the next conference. So I wrote down on my piece of paper, February 7th is our next conference for the 800% club. That's and right. I wrote down some outlandish things that I want to accomplish in the next 105 days. Outlandish. Mm -hmm. Open up two more used car lots, this, that. And, um, and I sent that to like three, four people, mentors, Glenn Lundy, Danelle, Alex Flores. Hey, say, I need you guys to hold me accountable for, on this. I need you to check up with me every now and then to make sure I'm accomplishing this. And uh, man, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I'm ready, you know? So mentors and uh, people leading the way, encouraging you, pouring into you, uh, you know, 
um, I'm competitive as they come. If I meet somebody who's who's making 10 times more than me, there's nothing inside me that says that I can't do that. We know you're enjoying the show so far. We just wanted to quickly remind you about our partners at Fixed Ops Digital and how they are automotive's premier service marketing and technology company. Not only proud sponsors of the Car Guy Coffee podcast, but they also serve as your dedicated point of contact for all your online service marketing related needs. Servicing dealerships throughout the U.S. and Canada, the mission is to create a better online experience for your service customers while using data intelligence to drive more fixed operations revenue. If you want to take your service marketing efforts to the next level, go to fixedopsdigital.com. Back to the show. Let's go. So I want to meet more people that's making 10 times more than me because I want to figure out a way to be right where they're at. You know, we all serve the same God. We all have the same, uh, you know, we're all here. We have the same opportunity. And if mm. God did it for, him, for them, God can do it for me. So that's something that I, I get from, from a mentorship is like, man, okay, I, he did it. Let me figure out how I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So mm. that, that's mentorship is at this, uh, at this point in my life is the most important thing because if I stop right now, mm -hmm. Two successful used car lots. I'm making good money. You know, like whatever. You know, top, you know, whatever. I'm I'm doing great. But man, I, I want so much more. You know, talent. Uh, hard work beats talent, and talent don't work hard. Yeah. Right. That's a saying. Everybody knows that. Um, but I like to say this: Why does the bully take your lunch money? He don't <laughs> take your lunch money because because he's hungry. He just takes your lunch money because he can. So if you can in life, you should. So if you can do more, if you can accomplish more, if you can help more people, if you can if you can leave a positive impact on this earth, then you are you you have to. You should. That's what God has given you that what is the point of being a blessed being blessed and you're not blessing others? You're supposed you're blessed to be a blessing. So uh, the mentorship thing like I said is helping me get there and the more money I make, the more things I do, the better I can leave my family. OK, because I won't have 30, 40 years to accumulate wealth for them, but also the more people I can leave a positive impact on, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so the mentorship is important. They're helping me get to my ultimate goals. That's so much to sip on with that. And there's so much that's valuable. If you all got some value out of that, give them some love. You have so many people that are that are sharing uh, applause. And wow. So many people are jumping in here. No doubt. And, and really, we're just we're just. Again, humbled to be in the room because there is so much value that you're pouring out. The bringing you to where it is that you are, we still want to know the second line on the five liner with you, Bruce. Is how did you get to the car business? Because you are a prodigy. You know, I mean, you really are a car guy prodigy. But what brought you to the car business, man? I was always a hustler. I always had a job at 14 years old, making $200 a week, selling candy door to door. That's right. Let's go. $200, $200 a week cash at 14 years old. Oof, um, that's money. Yeah. So I, I was always a hustler. Um, that was a period of time in my life. I sold other things, but uh, I was always a hustler. I always, you know, had that gift for gab, I guess. For people, people, you know, what do they say about uh, the, the mental image of yourself, right? The mental image of yourself in your head is formed by what people say, right? Well, mm -hmm. people will always say, man, Bruce is a hustler. Bruce has got the gift of gab. Bruce knows. So, you know, as I was like going through life, trying to figure out working in construction and this and that, baby on the way, wedding, we got married. I needed to get a real job. And one of my cousins <laughs> had worked for a store as a receptionist. She was a little bit older. She says, man, you remind me of those salespeople. You should sell cars. So I was like, okay. And so I answered the ad and um, it was this, like the best organization in the city. And they, 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 uh, they don't hire uh, retreads. They only hire rookies and they, they have a three week training class. And so, so, <laughs> so I begged, uh, I begged for the job. I'm, I'm a high school dropout, uneducated, I, rough around the edges. You know, you, you might think I'm rough now, but boy, if you see me at 21, it was even worse. But no, nothing, no, no hireable trait. No hireable trait. You wouldn't look at it. I didn't check no box off. Okay. <laughs> so they hired 20 something people in this class. And I had to, I was like interviewed on a Monday. I didn't get a call back Tuesday. So I called back. I got put, sent the voicemail. 
by Thursday afternoon, I had figured out how to navigate through the phone system to get past the gatekeeper and uh, the training, the hiring manager, the training manager, I got like to his direct line and, I, and he was shocked. He was like, who's this? I said, Man, this is the kid, the young guy you interviewed. He says, oh, OK. I said, look, I really and I, I was a persistent. And then he's like, all right, man, just be here for nine o'clock Monday morning. <laughs> I don't like self-defense. He just like hired me. Right. <laughs> and I get in this class and um, I, I had always sold. And when they started teaching the class, it was like the light went off in my mind. I said, man, I'm going to do I'm going to be really good at this. I, I identified. I knew it. I understood it. And uh, and then the rest is history. I started at 21 uh, uh, in finance. At 23, as a finance manager, you know, um, never been not, not been in management ever since. At like 30, I was a used car director for three stores at one time for Group One Automotive. At 32, I was a general sales manager of a, a, a big, the number one Chevy store in the city, which ended up we were, when I started there, they were selling 85 cars a month, and we averaged 325. We came first place in the city, a very saturated five dealerships within 20, 20 miles. Hmm. So you had to know how to compete. You had to know how That's to right. We came in first place 63 times out of 72 months. Come on. The thing about me, my nickname is Stats because I know the stats. I, I can I can tell you the history of stores. <laughs> so, and we built this amazing culture. And at 39, there's a few other stops, but at 39, I got recruited away to be a managing partner of two stores. That was a crowning achievement for a car guy. High school dropout. You know, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Love this industry. No parents. No. My mom had me at 15. My, my dad committed suicide when, when I was 25. I'm just out here on my own, man. Just like grinding, you know. And to get that opportunity was amazing. Uh, I'm interviewing with this, the giants of the car business in the world. And he's like, yeah, I want to make you a managing partner of this Audi store. Very prestigious store. <laughs> and they own the Hyundai store as well. And I say, uh, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take the job if you give me a Hyundai store too. How stupid is that? You know? <laughs> and uh, they thought about it for a couple of days. They gave me both stores and uh, we killed it for a whole year. The pandemic hit. And uh, I could stop if y'all want, but that's how I got oh, into it. Bro, oh, keep it on. coming, man. Don't yeah. stop. Hey, dealers, did you know that when you get registered on the Shop Smart Autos dealer directory, it has no cost, no credit card, and no commitment? You'll receive 12 free months of ShopSmart Auto's VIN history reporting. That's a simple click giving you daily wholesale, retail values, days on market, market price, accident, service, and repair history. Great for spotting trades or buying at the auction. Listen, you can try it for free for one year and you'll never pay high prices for vehicle histories again. You can check them out at ShopSmartAutos4Dealers.com. That's ShopSmartAutos4Dealers.com. This is so great. This is where the faith journey Amen. goes to a new level. Okay. Come on. I, the pandemic happened. I realized me and my partners were not on the same page. I like to do this with people and personnel. They wanted to do these things. We just came at odds on a lot of stuff. And then exactly one year after I started, they let me go. We had just had like an amazing month, May of 2020, the first time that the prices and the, and the you know, low supply, high demand was hitting. You know, it's been rolling ever since May, May, of, May of 2020, but we had this amazing month and they let me go. I had hired 40 people in the variable operations of these two stores. And when I started, they had eight people combined in the, in the two stores. I restocked the shelf with the, some of the most talented people in the car business. That's right. I didn't know I sounded like a non-compete that I couldn't hire these people away <laughs> when they let me go. They knew that, but uh, anyway, so they let me go. The car business is rocking and rolling. I'm sitting in my garage and a guy spoke to me, okay? He reminded me of this store, that store, this store, that like four or five organizations that I placed everybody in key positions of those stores. I set the culture. I set the tone. I taught the guys how to win for five different stores in the city. And God said, you're not going to receive a dollar this month from any one of those stores. And it dawned on me, like from that point in my life, man, whatever it takes, I'm owning something. I'm not doing nothing unless like, I have a piece of the pie. So the pandemic's hitting. My cancer had just came back. Mm. I had 18 tumors in, the, in my stomach. Mm. Uh, my father-in-law was the number 1100th person in the United States of America to die of COVID, which really affected my wife. Um, 
everything you could. My, I lost this job, crowning job, sixty thousand dollar a month job. I don't mind talking about money, so if it offends people, I don't care. We, all, we, we people make money in this business, and, and they like took it from me. That crowning achievement that I had worked my whole life for, but all those things were material things. And it, maybe I was trusting in those things, those titles, that paycheck more than I was trusting in God. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> boom, I'm sitting there. I have nobody's really looking for a Bruce Miller. You know, the car business is rocking and rolling. Um, I interview a few different places. I couldn't get a job that I that I, I was. I thought that I like when I come when I come to your dealership, I bring the whole circus, the three ring, the bearded lady. I bring the whole service, so I wanted to be compensated for it. Good lady, my uh, maybe got like a you know four hundred thousand a year type job offer, right? And I turned that down. I leaned into God. I said, "Okay, God, you want me to own? You want me to own something? Let's go." I attempted to try to buy new car, little small new car franchises. Realized I didn't have nearly enough money, so I said, "Man, I'm gonna go open up an independent lot." There you go. So. I went to a few people that I knew and I said, look, let me come work for you. I'll take 10 grand a month. I'm going to bring them systems processes. I can add you some banks and, um, but I'm going to open up my own lot. The two people that I knew turned me down. They wouldn't, I, I'm, they wouldn't, I was ner- nervous or whatever. And they turned me down. So I had to go to a stranger. I'm a Christian, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, two Muslims, two Muslims. And somebody introduced me to the guys. They said, cool. They, 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 they treated me like family from day one. And I just jumped into this independent lot and like not the best neighborhood. Uh, I, I go from managing partner, executive manager, wearing suits every day at an Audi store to working a credit acceptance deal with somebody whose social security is their only source of income. <laughs> you know, that was the first day on the job. Hello. I'm familiar with all that, but I just... Mm-hmm. It was taken back. So you can still get them done, right? Still, still get them, them done. Go. So, so again, many points and times in this journey, I could have stopped and just went and just not not pressed. One of the cancers, one of the tumors got really big. And I like on September 30th, like that in 2000, I like passed out. You know, mm. I was like, it was hurt me. So go to the emergency room that they, they have to take a tumor out right so i got this job i'm not making enough money i got kid in two lane two kids in private school yeah. mortgage i'm like i'm using all my little coffers 401k pull that out savings right. here I'm, I'm making everything meet because uh making the ends meet because i have faith that God, this is going to pay off you know and um mm-hmm. now i'm in a hospital tumor coming out right who wants to who wants to partner or, or, or buy in or, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm at the lowest point in my life, you know, but I stayed to the course, stayed Kevin faith, you know, six months later, I told my partner, I said, look, I'm going to open up my own used car lot. That's what I want to do now. He says, man, just buy 25%. Stay, stay partner with me. Help me manage things. I need your help. I, I, I want to be associated with you. So he let me buy 25%. I opened up my used car lot. Hey dealers, franchise and independent, we have some great news for you and your number one sales pro, your Your website. website. Partner with Team MXS, we have the ability to pull you out of that cookie cutter, merry-go-round, and help your website embody what it means to do business with you. From the highest quality production to the most strategic optimization, we want to help you connect better to the ever-changing market. We owe it to you and your team to at least let us do a quick and free checkup on your website. We can't wait to hear from you. Go to teammxs.com. Back to the show. Two years ago, I was in a hospital. To this day, right right now, two years ago to this day, I was in the hospital. I didn't own no businesses. I, I turned, you know, I was like this faith journey. One year ago, I made a Facebook post that I had the best single financial month of my career because I had these two used car lots. And then now, you know, look, I live a great lifestyle. Uh, I got a bunch of friends across the country. Uh, I'm able to like uh, do be me. I, if I want to wear Jordans to work, I can wear Jordans to work. If I want to, you know, <laughs> so it's a, it's an amazing journey. Now, look, now everybody's like, oh man, Bruce is killing. Me. It makes sense. But man, it was many dark nights. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
there, there were many dark nights that I could have turned around. Yes, sir. I, I could have turned around. I could have like backed up. I could have like not believed in God. But man, God was with me every step of the way. Man, doors were being closed. Like, man, why this man won't call me back and offer me this job? Because God had closed that door. He had closed all the doors. There was only one door that I, I was like, okay, I'm going to go be an independent dealer, you know? And then <laughs> a year into being an independent dealer, I, I like, you know, a lot of respect from independent dealers, you know, like, like I'm doing doing my thing. And I transitioned from a franchise guy to an independent dealer. The success never stopped. The store I went to, they were selling 18 cars a month. 90 days into taking a job, our average there is 45. And you know, great gross and added all kind of banks and it's like a successful running used car lot. My used car lot, we average about sixty eight cars a month the last four months. You know, uh, from scratch. One year ago, we sold we had zero zero inventory, zero banks. That's sick, so, man. That's huge. That's yeah. uh, there was so you know. So again, my faith was like tested. But I, but it was like an amazing journey, and it still is an amazing journey. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, don't know. My, I have big goals. I'll put this out to the, you. said something earlier about the universe. I want to own and operate 10 used car lots slash new car franchises. I want to have 10. You know, that was the goal uh, when I started this. That's what I put out there in the universe. I'll tell anybody that, you know. And when I tell people that, they're like, man, he's crazy. Well, then all of a sudden, I got two. Come and on. You know what? I'll have four. And Come on, you know what? I have six, you know, so um, that's a long answer to one simple question, but that's, that's not no, <laughs> that, that's, that's a car guy. Coffee that guy is the kind of right answer there. that we that's love hearing, my friend. And honestly, we all needed to hear yes. that. You understand the audience was there. They were hanging on, wanting to hear every minute of this, because here's the thing. Your story is important for people to hear. Listen, quit making excuses in your life. Quick question. Do you know what Smart Pixel 2.0, Location IQ, and Audience IQ have in common? You know I do. They are solutions that our friends and proud sponsors, M1 Data and Analytics, are brewing for automotive and beyond. Once again, you're right, my friend. <laughs> and we want to invite all of our audience to go to m1-data.com to see how they can help propel your business forward with the right data insight. Go check them out at m1-data.com. Let's brew. Come on now. Back to the show. When there's opportunity, a lot of times the things that's the hardest to do is the thing that is supposed is what you're supposed to do. Look, We're supposed to go after it and get hard on that thing and, and go all gas, no brakes, yes. man, and crush it. Love Look, that story. The, oh. uh, all gas, no brakes thing came from this <clears throat> a few years back. Because when I was at the Chevrolet store, we opened three satellite use car lines. Nobody was doing anything like that. Oh, we, man. <clears throat> and this is 10 years ago, you know. 10 years ago, I didn't advertise a dollar in uh, radio or TV. I went all digital 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I bought every single car from, I'm a Chevy store, I'm buying Hondas, Kias, everything from Enterprise. Nobody was doing that, you know? Yep. Um, there was the girls. There's always, there's always been like a thing of pushing the pedal. So there's a few years ago, there was this meme going around, like if this was a person, if stupidity was a person, and you show a picture of a stupid guy, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, somebody took a picture of me and said, if all gas, no brakes was a person, you know? Yeah. And, and kind of like from that moment, I'm like, Gosh. when I seen it, I said, this makes a lot of sense. And that, I understand that that's me, you know? So, so you talk about embracing like a, a phrase or embracing a word, you know? But look, one last thing, not last thing, but if you have prayed for something and you, you, you believe in God and you believe in that prayer, Man, when the door opens, you got to bust through the door. It's got to be an all gas, no brakes mentality. So yes. then why pray for it? Why pray for it? You know, why pretend like you believe if you're not willing to jump through the door? And that's what I did two years ago. I jumped through the door. Don't worry, Solutionaries. This five-liner brew has a part two, and we can't wait to share it with you. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. Let's brew!